It's your main man, Rick the Dawn. Hey, what's going on, y'all? Happy uh, Sunday. It's Sunday in my universe. Today, I have a very special drink. Uh, the beautiful bottle of Corbell. Ladies and gentlemen, let me just tell you, this is one of my top five drinks of all time. I love Corbell. Now, what is interesting, though, is that I've never reviewed Corbell. I usually just drink it from time to time, uh, but this will mark the first time officially that I am reviewing this amazing bottle. Now, for those who don't know, this bottle is 12% alcohol value. And if you've been watching my reviews, you know I typically don't bother with anything that's less than 10. And if I'm being honest with you, I don't bother with anything that's less than 10.5. But Corbell is 12. So I'm, I'm expecting what I usually get. Now this bottle is pretty pricey, um, but it's, you know, like I said, it's more of a <clears throat> from time to time kind of drink for me. It's not something that I would drink every day. Here it is, the pour, baby. Oh yeah, there it is. Ah, one of my favorite drinks. I'm telling you, if you want to make me happy, send me a bottle of Port Bill. Oh my goodness, it even smells good. It smells like dirty spray. <laughs> I don't know if that word exists, but I feel like I just created it. I know, um, it, it smells like if you mix Sprite and Mountain Dew together, that is what Corbell smells like, and it's 12%. So, here we go. Man, tastes like Red Bull, dirty Red Bull. It sends a nice little tingle here in both sides of your mouth, your jawline. So, definitely a tangy taste to it. Here we go. Very smooth. Uh, the flavors of Corbell, they tend to kind of dance on your tongue a little bit as you drink. You certainly can feel all the amazingness bouncing on your flavor sensors. Very, very dry. Now, for those who don't know, if you really want to get vibish, then you want to drink brew, okay? I'm a big fan of Brut because it's so dry. It's not a lot of flavor, not a lot of sugar. It's typically straight champagne, right? That's why I'm a big fan of Brut champagnes or Brut versions of champagne. Now, Corbeil comes in different types. Uh, I think it's uh, Curve, um, you know, insert champagne here. But Brut is one of my favorites. If I'm having a rough day or I had a big celebration or something, something that is celebration worthy, I'm going to get some Brut Corbel. Uh, like I said, the bottle is pretty pricey, though, so be, be, be aware of that. Yeah. No tank, no, uh, no bitter taste. So if you're someone who typically doesn't drink champagne because it's bitter or ha <clears throat> has a bad taste, you won't get that here. In fact, if you like the way that seltzer water tastes, you should have no problems here because, in my personal opinion, this actually tastes better than seltzer water. So you're getting a better version of seltzer water. If you were to get seltzer water and maybe put a cap of Mountain Dew or a cap of Mountain Dew and then a cap of Sprite, a little pinch of Red Bull, you'll get Corbell. That's what the, that's what the taste is in my personal opinion, okay? Yeah, amazing, it tastes really good. Now, for those who are still new to my drink reviews, uh, my review numbers come out in three parts. The pre-review uh, pre score, the post-review score, and the overall score. I'm gonna give you the pre-review, uh, oh man, it's starting to hit me. <coughs> it's starting to hit me. All right, so I'm gonna give you the pre-review score now, and then I'm gonna drink the entire bottle. And once the entire bottle was done, I'll come back and give you a post-review score and let you know how I feel at that particular point. Then I'll take the pre-review score and the post-review score, add them together, divided by two, and give you a overall score. Now, I will say this. I'm expecting a lot from Corbell because I've drank, drank it several times in the past. But I do worry, though, it's going to probably score lower. Maybe some of what I like about, about Corbell is situational. I had a bad day and I drank some Corbell made me feel good. But when I'm putting it under the microscope, I'm not sure how the bottle will do. But I'll give you this. I'm starting to, uh, to get some vibes right here in my shoulder area. 
and it's right across my back. And in some ways, I'm getting some warm sensations. That's what, that's what we call vibes on my channel. When I say vibes, I'm talking about that warm, tingly champagne sensation. But I'm getting vibes here, my face here, back shoulder area. Definitely starting to warm up, okay? So I can feel Corbell doing its thing. Here we go. I was able to finish an entire glass while the video was going. That tells you one thing, it's very smooth and very, very easy to drink. Um, sometimes champagnes hit you, it's really acidic, bubbly. This has the right consistency of bubbly to drink ratio. Like it's not so acidic that you can't drink it without burping and stuff like that. So in my opinion, it wins there or win points in that particular category. But here we go, folks, in terms of my pre-review, and I'm not going to take it easy because this is one of my favorite drinks of all time. I'm not going to take it easy on it. If I'm being hyper, okay, here we go, here we go. All right, the vibes are happening here. A lot in the back area, back shoulder region, right across, or if you uh, go to the back of your neck and go down to your shoulder blades, right there, that's where the warm sensation seem to start, and I'm enjoying them. But let me, let me just bask in this for just a moment. All right, all right. Yeah, this feels good, man. All right, so my body's starting to warm up. This is why I drink Corbell, ladies and gentlemen. Listen, I drink Corbell to feel like I'm in a hot tub. Right now, you cannot see this in the screen or in the, in the camera, but right now, let me tell you something. You won't believe me, but I feel like I'm in a hot tub with a glass of champagne. That is what Corbell does. Corbell makes you feel like you're literally, you, this is a mobile hot tub. That's what this is. It's a mobile jacuzzi. All right, well, no matter where you are, if you drink a bottle of Corbell, one glass of Corbell, you're going to feel like you're in a jacuzzi. The only thing that's missing is the jacuzzi sound. If it wasn't, if I had that sound, I could probably go to sleep and relax right now. Okay, if you can't tell, I really like Corbell. Okay, all right. Whew, man, this is a, I love, I love the champagne. For only, oh, excuse me. For the price you pay, you get a nice champagne slash jacuzzi slash hot tub experience right now, right this second. As you look in my eyes, I am in a, I'm, I'm in a jacuzzi, all right? And it's all because of this glass. That's what this glass does. Okay, I'm warming up in a lot, a lot of other places. Right here across, or I should say across the belly or just above, across, or just above the belly, the belly button. I'm getting warm there. Yeah, man, this, 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 is, this, is, this is Corbell. This is what you buy Corbell for now. I won't sit here and try to oversell it because I'm not being paid for this uh, this review, obviously. But um, I just really like Corbett. I don't know what it is. I just I really like it. I like it more than some of the fancier bottles out there. It's a bottle you can find in every 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 store that sells champagne. You can find Corbell always. Now the price might vary because some places charge more, but you can always find Corbell. Okay. All right. Pre-review score time. I've been thinking about this. I'm not sure where I want to go, but I think it's only one answer. The truth. As of right now, off of one glass, I'm going to give Corbell a 7 out of 10. That's correct. Corbell is a 7 out of 10 after you uh, digest the first glass. I think that's a very fair score. Um, I am getting tons of vibes and different you know, locations in my body. I'm starting to warm up. I'm in a jacuzzi, all of that. But I understand that some of that might be biased. So I have to, to temper my score a little bit because I understand that there's additional excitement being infused in this uh, particular situation. So I want to make sure I temper my excitement by giving a very, very reasonable score and uh, treating this bottle like it's any other bottle. So I think when you drink the first glass or so, about a seven, seven point seven out of 10 experience is what you should expect. But let me tell you something. I'll be right back when I when I when I come back. I'm going to give you a post review score and let you know how I feel. Don't go anywhere. Hey, what's going on? It's your main man, Rick the Dawn. And your man is back. I just finished the bottle of Corbell. And let me tell you, I feel amazing right now. If you want a visual descriptor, I feel like I'm in a drop top convertible, red. And I feel like the wind is blowing through my hair or rather my bald head. That's how I feel right now. And that is due to a very respectable bottle of Corbell. Um, but I think I'm ready. I have thought about this long and hard and I am ready to give you my post review score. My post review score of this amazing green bottle is 9.4. That is right. 
9.4. I want to just give a little shout out to the, to the green aesthetic. Uh, Sean Don used to have a forest green bottle, but they switched to this terrible looking bottle that they have now. This is the bottle that sells. Uh, Sean Don, if you're watching, you need to go back to your forest green because something about forest green champagne bottles, it just really brings out the best in me. I really feel that way. Now, um, as you know, I take the pre-review score and the post-review score, and then I uh, add those two things together, and then I divide it by two, and I get an overall score. So if you take the pre-review score of 7.0 and the post-review score of 9.4, and you blend those beautiful uh, numbers together, you get an overall score of an 8.2. Bam! Corbell is a 8.2. And you know what? I'll be honest with you. That's a very, very reasonable score. When you take all things into consideration, it, uh, it didn't it didn't hit me uh, as hard initially. But as I feel right now, I feel like, you know, I feel like I'm, you know, I've been punched in the face by Mike Tyson. Um, and I feel amazing, by the way. All right? It's like Mike Tyson punching you in the face with a million dollars. That's what this bottle feels like. Um, but yeah, jacuzzi, hot rod, convertible, all those beautiful words to describe this here. All those beautiful adjectives. And uh, I'll be honest with you, um, this is why I drink Corbeil. Uh, obviously, I want you to drink responsibly, but if you get one of these bottles right here, this is for the big boys, for the big girls. This is not for rookies. If you're a rookie, go, go drink some, uh, if you want a, um, a nice, reasonable co uh, comparison or a bottle. Hey, hey, Rick, what can I get that's not Corbeil, but feels like Corbeil or similar to Corbeil if I don't drink a lot? Oh, J. Roger, go get some of go get some J. Roger. Don't touch this. This is for the big boys and the big girls. Corbell, ladies and gentlemen. With that being said, thank you for watching my review. Uh, if you want to find more drink reviews on my channel, you do have to go to my playlist because my channel is full of craziness. And if you want to find that particular thing, you do have to go to the uh, to the playlist, and that's where I have all my particular things. All right, so if you want to find more drink reviews, check out my playlist, and I'll see you on the next one. At this particular time, I want to go lay down on, on, on my couch and sleep. So um, I'll see you next time. Peace.